Mega Man X Legacy Collection. Hello everyone, we Sonic the Joe Gamer here and I'm gonna do something a bit different. Instead of uh <laughs> Instead of doing everything uh live, I'm actually gonna be doing everything in post for the series. I figure I might as well try something new, and the reason for it is because I need to give up on Jedi Fallen Order. Everything's just been skipping way too much for my liking, and it's actually getting bad. Like, seriously. You basically miss an entire fight for an upgrade. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're gonna be playing that for a while. I am gonna plan on uh, coming back to it eventually. But as of right now... Yeah. Anyways... So we're going to be doing the X-Series, starting with Mega Man X, because of course. Anyways, what this is all about is, well, Dr. Thomas Light has made X, who has unlimited potential and the unique ability to think for himself. As such, if he breaks the rule of robotics, can't hurt another human thing, obviously that would be very bad. Since X can think for himself, get his own feelings. Yeah. I think you just imagine what happened if he decides to kill someone. But yeah, so Dr. Light sealed this uh, Mega Man X away, and Dr. Kane found the ruins of X. Well, found the ruins of Light's lab where X is. And decided to use him as a basis to create all Veploids. Yeah, just give me a second. <laughs> there we go. So, starting it off, we're in Highway. X can do many things. He can jump, he can shoot, he can charge his bus stop. He can't slide and he can't dash. Yet. Anyways, careful these enemies because they can destroy the floor. Like so. And it'll just create bottomless pits. But you know, I've not been... I'll be honest, I've always been a fan of uh, the X series. However, I never actually played the games myself, even with... Even though I had the Mega Man X Legacy Collection for a while now. Oh yeah, expect lots of deaths and lots of failures and me hitting myself a lot. I'm kind of surprised I haven't got hit yet. There we go. <laughs> I know this is all in post-production, but I did not expect me to get hit now. <laughs> uh, anyways, make this beetle B thing. It has three attacks. It can shoot, actually four attacks. It can uh, summon the minions, which you can take out with the charge shot quite easily. It can shoot bullets in front of itself. It can shoot missiles, and I'm forgetting what else it can do. Actually, no, I think that might be it. So yeah, it can do the three things. But anyways, when you destroy them, it collapses the bridge, and then you have to wall jump out. There are two of these in this game. And hey, look, it's the second one. A well placed charge shot is really recommended for those things. Because your regular Mega Bus, your regular sh uncharged shots are a bit too low for those walkers, so then you have to jump or get a fully charged shot to hit them. It's kind of a bit of a pain, but that's actually kind of nice that Mega Man has different size blasts. So, oh, I can't hit it with my small one. Here, let me charge it. Oh, there we go. It blasts right through. <laughs> I hate those guys. Yeah, they're just coming out of nowhere. And look, an example of being a bit too low, and I'm getting overwhelmed. 
Get going. So yeah, no, this. How am I already out of things to talk about? <laughs> Again, this is new. I'm experimenting. I just always like to bet on the cars in the battle. Jump, jump. I would be dashing, but I can't yet. Okay, here we have a small wave of guys in the trucks. Well, cars. So take them out. You can destroy the cars if you want. Just take them out. It's good if you stay underneath it, because they'll always be facing to the left. They can never be facing to the right. So if you stand under it, you can just blast them as soon as they land on the ground. Oh! Say hello to Vile! And his freaking mech! Ow! I'll be honest, I've never beaten this guy before. Ow! As you can see, ow! Ow! I need to stop getting hit! <laughs> ow, frick! Zack! I lost. Zack! You worthless piece of scrap metal! Did you think you could defeat me? ZERO! This is our Red Vaporwave Pal Zero. We are Maverick Hunters, by the way. <laughs> I guess I should have explained the premise. I guess I'm not powerful enough to defeat him. X, you shouldn't expect to defeat him. He is designed to be a war machine. Remember, you have not reached full power yet. If you use all the abilities you were designed with, you should become stronger. You may even become as powerful as I am. I'll scout ahead and collect as much information on Sigma Fortress as I can. I'll meet up with you when you get there. See you later! X, I know you can do it. Will you? Will you? Okay, so the premise of the story, I should have explained that, and there's a password system, but because of the legacy collection, I can just have it save my current password. But anyways, we have a bunch of Mavericks! I'm, gonna explore. I'm never gonna explain the story, am I? Anyways, we have Chill Penguin! With attacks like shotgun ice and sliding. Large Octopus. He has the homing torpedo and E-Drain. Armored Armadillo. Rolling Shield and Guarding. Storm Eagle. Attacks are Storm Tornado and Diving. Spark Mandrill. Electric Spark and Dash Punch. Chameleon Sting and Iron Tongue. That thing's really annoying. Boomerang Cutter and Deadlift. And Flame Mammoth. Fire Wave, Oiling and Jump Press. Anyway, so the idea is we are Maverick Hunters and the X Maverick Hunter leader, Sigma, has raised a rebellion. In fact, the person we're tackling, Chill Penguin, who, by the way, seriously, target him first. He will be the easiest to face. <laughs> and has the best power up. But anyways, Chill Penguin used to be a Maverick Hunter as well. Storm Eagle and, uh, Chill Penguin were both part of the Maverick Hunt- well, yeah, the Maverick Hunter. I'm, why am I confusing myself? It is Maverick Hunters. I don't know why my mind's like, no, that's not it. I think I'm, I'm thinking too much. Because I've been trying to play, uh... I suck. <laughs> I suck so much. I've been playing the second one, which there's X Hunters. The X Hunter leaders you have to face with. But anyways, so Sigma has started a rebellion against the humans. The Maverick Hunters are supposed to go after Reploids that have gone Maverick. AKA, more or less, it's not outside their programming, but basically, they're the, the villains. They're going against their programming, they're harming people, and so it's up to us to stop it as Maverick Hunters. So that's what X is doing here. We're going after Sigma and stopping his Maverick army. We're going through Chill Penguin stage, luckily there's no ice physics. 
Although this area can get kind of annoying. Because, again, we don't have dash. So those uh, wheel enemies really mess me up, just because I never expect them. I'm sure if I played the game a bit more, I would be better at it. But I beat the game twice. Yes, X is... The first game is possibly the only Mega Man game I've actually beaten. Anyways, Dr. Light, so you've come. X, I'll give you the ability to choose your own path in life. And I hope to the world would all allow, would allow you to choose a peaceful one. But now it seems that you are destined to fight. Because I thought the world might need a new champion. I have hidden capsules like this one. Across eight games. If you find and use them, you will be able to increase your powers. Beyond anything the world has ever known. Step into this capsule. And receive an acceleration system to boost your speed. Good luck, X. So yeah, that's Thomas Light. If you can't tell, he's dead. <laughs> Man, no, he made a bunch of armors and scattered them throughout the entire world. There's a bunch of them. Woo! Now we have the ability to dash, and this is the best power-up in the freaking game. Like, no doubt about it. <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> I forgot I did that! Ah, saucy cock, as I call it. Nice. Uh, there's actually a uh, system in place where if you boost and shoot, your attack will do slightly more damage. I don't find it overly useful, but that's just because I barely get into ow, a position where I can't really use it. Oh, hey, look, a mech armor. Boom. There is some areas that will have you ride a mech armor. They will take damage for you, you don't lose any health while you're in them. If they take too much damage, they'll explode. They can dash, jump, and punch. That's basically it. They are powerhouses. So if you ever need to grind for health, and there's a power, uh, there's a ride armor nearby, they're always good to take advantage of. To run around and grind for enemies. However, there is a much better spot you can do it at. Which I'll explain later. Ow. You can shoot these snowballs. Well, the rolling ones. If you have a charge shot. An example of grinding is helpful. An example of dashing being helpful. I just love the dash. The fact that you can just give a boost of ow, a boost of speed in order to get sent farther. Trust me, this thing is your life. If you cannot boost, the game is harder. But anyways, here is Chill Penguin! What? Okay, Chill Penguin has a basic combo. Well, basic attacks. He can freeze. Be careful that Ice Breath will freeze you. He'll jump to where you are, which I forgot that happened. He can shoot Ice Shards either uh, in the air or on the ground. If they shoot him on the ground, it's sh uh, slower. You can't destroy the ice shots. You can't destroy the uh, penguin stats itself. However, Snow Penguin can pull that lever to cause a tornado. And if he slides, oh by the way, if he grabs the hook is the best time. If he slides, it also destroys the statues. Again, don't get touched. Hey, thank you for showing me that. Man, if you can time it. You can have it so that one, uh, you can charge a shot, and once he's about to fall, bam, hit him. Bam. Chill Penguin is right here. Easy. <laughs> so, you have the best power up in the game, and easy first boss. Oh, and this is Ice Attack. And he's invincible while sliding, and yeah, that's basically it. Ah! you, Megaman! I should mention the we don't. Uh, Mega Man X, the first series, actually got a reboot called Ma Mega Man Maverick Hunter X for the PS Vita. That did not get ported to the Legacy Collection, as far as I know. However, in it is an animation called The Day of Sigma. And 
So they didn't bring the game over, but they decided to take that and bring it over as a little thing you can view in the menu of Legacy. So yeah, I don't understand why, but that's all for this time. This is me, Sunny the Drug Game, and I hope to see all you guys again next time.